Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of the prologue of upcoming horror game, Scorn. I've been looking forward to this game for years. I've been talking about it since, I want to say, 2016, or even before that. I'm not sure how long it's been in development at this point, but we're on the home stretch now. It's coming out soon, and uh, big thanks to the people at Kepler Interactive publishing the game uh, for getting me a key for the preview build. Now, if you don't know anything about Scorn, I'm not going to tell you anything. Let's just get into it. I knew it was coming. Come on, we knew he was gonna open his eyes. So we were crawling towards an obelisk of some kind, and we fell and uh, cracked our head. Nice. Now uh, you may have already noticed the art style, it's probably the biggest selling point of the game. It's just, uh, I've heard a lot of people describe it as disgusting or gross, I can't identify with that at all. I think it's just cool, like exceedingly profoundly cool. Very uh, H.R. Giger, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Z Zitislaw uh, inspired. There's like, there's like three Z's in it. Uh, probably should have looked up how to pronounce it before the video. That would have been a good idea. Okay, so here we are. We're, uh, we're up and about. We're in the game. Exciting. Now, I don't know how to interact with this. I guess I need something. There's like five dots I need to, uh, need to light up. Now, for those of you who are uh, familiar with my channel, um, I tend to get a little sassy. I tend to get a little rambunctious when I play these games for, for videos on the channel. But uh, I'm going to be pretty laid back in this. There's not going to be a whole lot of sarcastic comments from me or anything, because uh, I don't really think it's that type of game that would benefit from that style of commentary. So I'm going to be keeping kind of quiet. Here we go. Hmm, there's another one of these doors and it has five more lights that need to be lit up. Boy, where is... Where is everyone? If there are indeed any people here or any creatures of any kind. I will find out. Hmm. Ah, look! Daylight! Just go up there! Come on, just climb up the sharp rocks! Hmm. This is a door that's already partially opened. The way back is blocked. That makes sense, honestly. What's this? Did I stick my hand in there? Oh, yeah, I do. Of course I do. Alright. We've been upgraded to Assassin's Creed. Okay, let's see. Can you crouch, actually? I don't think I can. We won't be stealth killing anyone anytime soon, I don't think. Alright, what's this all about? Oh. 
What am I doing? Some kind of interface. To control some kind of visual puzzle, maybe? Okay, let's try over here. Okay. We had to just unlatch the door and then open it. Nice. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm done. So, <laughs> how do I get out of this? Oh, okay. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was gonna close. That makes sense though. It takes a long time to close actually. It really wasn't that urgent. I kind of overreacted. Fine. Look at this. Love the lighting and everything. It's kind of similar in some ways to Soma. The classic frictional games game. In fact, uh, yeah, Soma had some parts that looked a lot like this. Even got like the glowing green light. Aesthetic. Which, by the way, if you've never played Soma, um, it's from the Amnesia, the Dark Descent developers, and it's their best game, if you ask me. Uh, it's very, very good. This is lit up, but it doesn't seem like I can interact. It seems like it's very obvious what you can interact with and what you can't. Like, if you can interact with it, it'll glow pile of, um, bodies. Nice. Okay. Hmm. They look kind of like me? Wow. Okay, there's another kind of interface right here. Looks like I stick my hand in it again. Okay. This is like a claw machine. Oh, I'm bad, apparently. I'll try again right here. Okay, that's as far as it goes. Hmm. Okay, let's get out of this, actually. Maybe there's something that we can adjust here to bring it up so it can reach. Or maybe there's something we need to put over here. Oh, okay, what does this do? It's got finger holes. Great. So it's a torture device, right? Am I interpreting this correctly? Kinda seems like you sit there and you get tortured. Yeah? Oh look, he's covering his, uh, his ears. I think that tells me everything I need to know. Um, okay, you know what? We can come back to this. There's a chair there and there's nothing here. So maybe we need to place something there to get grabbed by the claw. It's possible. These look like oil uh, drilling machines or whatever they're called. The ones that go up and down with the counterweight. Yeah. So maybe this is some kind of mine. They're uh, plumbing the planet of its natural resources. What does this do? I'll stick my hands in it. Okay, let me try that again. Can I, can I interact with it in any way? He just lets go. Well, okay, what about this? This is something different. Maybe I can adjust it in such a way. Okay. You know what I've noticed so far? They've made the doors incredibly hard to open in this place. What are they trying to keep out? I'm not gonna say what that looks like, but uh, let's just say it would age restrict the video instantly. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep wandering around because maybe we can find some things that uh, will illuminate us on some of these puzzles. Or maybe I'm just bad. 
Who knows? What is this, a dentist's office? Hey, I said I wouldn't do any uh, sarcastic, sassy comments, and then now look at me. Old habits die hard, I guess. Oh, it's like a little scoop. I wonder if maybe I need to place something in these chairs and sculpt them somehow. Hmm. Here's another one of these things. This is exactly like the other one. Yeah, but there's nothing, there's nobody there. Okay, we're not finding anything to really use this. That looks like an elevator. And, okay, we're back. We've made a full lap now. We're back here, to this thing. Now, originally I went that way. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go see if we can use the elevator. Okay. Can I take this, or is it like not powered? Do I power it my, with my fingers? The answer is yes, by the way. Let's walk over here. It looks like more stuff we stick our hands into, right? Ooh, two hands. Interesting. You know, it just occurred to me that this is probably a great game for um, languages all across the world. There's no text, you know, like the, the gameplay is completely tactile. There's no, no words of any kind or like markings even that you can use. It's just like, put your hand in this, move this stuff around, okay? Ah, I see. So we're trying to take one of these, for example, and move it, or let's see. Maybe one of these is like it like has a power cell of some kind. Ah. Okay, so see, some of these are glowing, and some of these aren't. There's two of them that are glowing. So I'm thinking what we do is we move the ones that aren't glowing around to try to get the glowing ones. To the, uh, to the upper left. Okay, so let's bring this down. This is like the first puzzle where I feel like I'm actually onto something. And uh, yeah, we'll just move it into position. I assume I'm doing the correct thing. Cause like we wanted to grab that. So yeah, let's do it. gonna grab that yeah is that the one that you wanted wait what did that do okay you picked that up and then you threw it down so I can take the elevator down and I might find something right Huh, so I have a problem. Uh, which way is the elevator to the ground floor? Uh-oh, I'm lost. This place can't be that big. I'm sure I can find my way back. Another one of these doors that I can't open. Okay, oh, what is all this? Are these those uh, pods up close? Are they eggs of some kind? Kind of seems like it, right? Boy, what is over here? I feel like I shouldn't be over here. 
Yeah, another closed door. Yeah, okay, we'll come back to those some other time. Okay, it's right here, actually. Aha, okay. Let's go back down and see if it dropped anything for us, because I think that was the whole point of that. Do you think it landed up here? Right. Uh, no, actually. Okay, let's figure out. So, there's the crane, and it... It picked up over there, so that means that the... Thing is that it dropped is probably over there. Okay. Hmm. That's where it's supposed to be dropped, is down the middle. Actually, so the one that I just. Okay, so I've got to go all the way back up there because it didn't do it right. It didn't do it right. Notice how I phrase that? Yeah. It wasn't my fault. It didn't do it correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna move that out of the way, and we're gonna get this one. Oh, this one's attached. Wait. This one's attached? Why do I make it unattached? Uh... Okay, wait, then that means we gotta move this one out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can just get rid of some of these dead shells that are here. It won't even pick them up! No, there goes my strategy. I was like, let's get some, let's, let's get rid of some of the dead weight around here. Okay, so just to give you an update on where I am in the puzzle. The problem is, I'm trying to get this glowy one right here up to where um, this one is right here. But the issue, currently, is that this one is attached to one below it. And so, I'm trying to figure out how I can get it over there. Because you can't move it, you can't move the top one unless the bottom one can move too. Which complicates things. Okay, as always, I've completely overcomplicated this, but there's a little divot that you can put the one that's glowing right here, and then you can get these double ones out of the way and move them, which is uh, the real issue here. Right there, and then we'll just move this one, and I've, I've almost got it now. You literally have to move everything on the left side of this puzzle to the right side of the puzzle. And once you do that, you're just home free. But that's all you have to do. Which, now that I know that, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't seem that hard. But I was trying to do it a little bit more of a, I guess, trickier way. Overcomplicating. So yeah, here we go. Alright, pick it up, please. Assume this is what I'm supposed to do. Yes! Success! Oh! Oh, there's actually somebody in there! And it's going down the conveyor belt. We're gonna pick it out. And then I guess we're gonna do stuff to it. <laughs> what the hell? The co-op partner of my dreams? Let's take the elevator back to the ground floor. Or as we Americans like to call it, the first floor. I'm getting, uh, too into the habit of adopting, uh, UKisms. Okay, now it's... Waiting right there. Oh boy. Okay, let's get behind the control panel here. Play the crane game. Mark the pooper scooper, am I right? Here we go. Oh wait, no, no, no. Don't put it back up. No, 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 no. I want you to, to come put it down. Can you, can you get it and put it all the way down? No? Or do you just... 
Oh, you just leave it there. Okay. Oh boy. I'm sorry, buddy. Here, let's uh, let's get you, shall we? Can I move this? Um. Okay, I need to get you from here to in here. Okay, I assumed that we used this, but I don't think that we do. See, this is along what appears to be a track. So, okay, that's the end of the track. Let's follow this way. Hang tight. Hang tight. I'm, uh, gonna get you out of there. Oh, we need to redirect this track. By a lot, actually. Uh, and then we also need to redirect this track. And then this one, too. We basically need to, like, redirect all three of those to get this one. Oh, okay. So this is what this is what you'll be in. I just need to figure out a way to get it over there. So how do you Okay, is there something is there something up here that I can use? Uh, yes there is. Okay. It's a little joystick. Oh. Well, this is cool. Okay, yeah, that's what we want. Yep. Um, this. Yep. And then that. Okay. I've got the track lined up. So now that I've got it lined up, how do I make the cart move? Okay. Oh, so you just put it in there. Okay, I've been stuck on this for a while. Let me explain. So I would get the claw machine to hold it like right here and I'd be like, oh, it's holding it out to the track. And I was like, oh, I need to put it in this cart. And so I thought you need to move the cart all the way around in a circle to here in order for it to be, um, for it to catch the guy in. Ugh. So, okay, well then, that kind of answers some questions for me. Because I was like, how do I move the cart? Okay. It's all clear now. So, that kind of puts this in a new perspective. Because, okay, first of all, we can change this track. Now, that track, I've been over there, leads to absolutely nothing. This track, however, um, does lead to something. It's one of those things that we found earlier that uh, we couldn't really do anything with. So, I'm gonna move the track over there and then we're gonna see what happens when we push the baby over there. Sorry, I know you're not a baby, but you kinda sound like one. All right, let's go ahead and uh, push you in your carriage. Oh. He's got a little handle. You okay? Well, I think I need to, oh. Oh, um, okay, we need to do something to you, I guess. I don't know what this is gonna do, I'm sorry ahead of time. I think we're trying to break out of that egg. <laughs> Okay, that feels bad. Yeah, I know you want to get out of there. We're trying- I'm trying to get you out of that thing, okay? I know, I know, you want to get out. I'm gonna try to help you get out of it, okay? Sorry I made you bleed so much. It's not exactly clear how these things operate. It's okay, we'll take you to the next one. Right here. Um... Jeez. Okay, uh, hopefully this one will be a little more gentle. I somehow doubt it. Uh, but hey. We'll, we'll try. Okay, here we go. Tickle, tickle, Gucci, Gucci. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, yeah, let's try to... 
I'm gonna try to scoop you out of there, okay? Yeah, we're gonna put you in this chair. Um, somehow I don't think that this is gonna work. But we're gonna try our best. There's another one that we saw earlier in the video. There's another one, but it didn't seem... It just seemed like it was a torture device. You know? Uh, we got you out of there! We, uh... Well, yeah, we got you out of there. Um, uh, you're dead now. Okay. But it's okay, because I can take your arm? Is... <sighs> now what do we do? Okay, so... Can we use this extra arm, possibly, to... Okay, the answer is no. <laughs> you just tried to force it in there. Dude, okay, so wait. So we just have to give it... We have to give it the assassin blade that we got earlier. Which... Okay, it's not this one. How did we get the assassin blade? That feels like forever ago. <gasps> here we go, I just didn't see it. It's right here. There we go. Nice, okay. Now we have two interfacing points. And now we can go open the main door, which is right here. I knew, I knew it had to, I was looking around this entire place, but I was like, it would make more sense if it was, you know, just from a game design perspective, if it was near the main door. Okay, here we go. So we'll stick your hand in there. Nice. Stay in there. Stay in there, and then I open it with this. So it's a two-person job, typically. Uh, we kind of got around it. Nice. Oh, how come this one's not closing? The last time I did this, I had to, like, rush under the closing door, so to speak. Alright. Well, now we're going up another lift, it looks like. Oh, gotta stick my fingers in there. Alright. Let's just sit back and relax, then. Okay. Um, great. Now we've uh, moved on to the next part. Oh. Oh no. That's not good. That's really not good. Wow. Um. Yeah, dead aliens, huh? They all died together. In a mass grave. Ooh, strange architecture. Okay. Hello? Can't interact with this in any way. Huh. Could these be eggs? Or just, you know, maybe they're just lights, actually. I'm not really sure. Okay, we'll come back here once we have something to use there, I guess. I'll make a note of where this is. Oh. Oh! Gun? Oh, sick.
Yep, there's a whole interface that pops up. For gun. Okay. Well, well, hopefully we don't have to kill anything anytime soon, right? Now, I believe... It's funny, the gun here, I believe, if I remember correctly, it fires... Teeth as bullets? Where am I getting that from? Maybe that's not correct. Uh, but I do remember actually playing a demo for Scorn, like a... Exclusive media demo, um, some years ago, and... I remember people pointing out in the comments that it was very similar to the weapon in the movie Existence. So they may have taken some inspiration from that. Okay, we just activated something. Okay, so you just took that thing and you just ran off with it, huh? Well, maybe do we follow? Do we shoot these things? I can't tell if they're aggressive or not. Okay. Okay, that does hurt. That does, that does hurt. I want to see what happens when you die. If there's any kind of like save point or... Okay. So it took three hits. That was all in the name of experimentation, my friends. I know you don't believe me, you think I just like ran into them three times and died, but... What can I say? I'm something of a scientist myself, like Norman Osborn would say. Oh, okay, so... So there's, there's a little checkpoint, okay. And then once I get the gun, I can come back. Uh, to that same place. Okay, so good to know we need to kill those things. Maybe need is a little bit of an aggressive word. Um, but we can. We can kill them. Alright, let's put the gun in here and see what happens. So this is the other side, by the way. The, the mirror side of what I did earlier. And the same thing happens. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Maybe kill is kind of a dramatic word for these things. I mean, are they living? Okay, there it goes off. Now, I want to see I want to see what's like to take the life of one of these aliens. Wait, what? Bruh, this is like, hang on. Oh, it just punches you. There's no actual, I thought it like shot, but it doesn't shoot. It just pushes. Oh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing because in the in the demo that I played there was like actual ammunition, I guess. They've changed that for the final game. It's more like a Or maybe I just need ammo. That's probably more like what's what, what's going on today. Okay. Oh, so there's a lot of these different canisters, huh? So it's not this. So you can put the gun inside it. Uh Oh, is it up there? Do I maybe go up somehow? Look at these. Oh, this is really cool. Look at that. Awesome. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. We move it this way. Oh. Use it on this one? Oh, okay. And then just place it in there? Yeah?
I did something. This is like I did something the game. It's like I don't know what, but I did do something. Something activated. Things are happening. Okay. Well, we're powering this machine up. That's what we're doing. Okay. So now, okay, we've powered this. And I don't know. What do we do now? Can we, okay, can we, um, well, let's get to one of these. Can we pull this up now? Yeah? Can we, can we pull that? Okay, yeah, and it'll go up there, right? So now we've got two batteries in, I guess. Yeah, you going up? Okay, that one. Put it in there. Okay. Now we'll interact with this. those two in. Now we're missing a third, but does this open something for me at all? No, it doesn't. Okay, we need to get out there, I think, next. Look at that. I mean, that looks important. Uh, so we need a third battery. Oh, it's from this side. Yeah, right here, right here. Okay, here we go. This is the one that I used earlier, right just before I died. Yes, hello. I can't wait to punch you in the face. Are those your faces? Okay, here, so here's the third battery that we need. And then once we power the whole thing up, we can go into that place that we were looking at outside. Nice. Okay. But first, we gotta do a little bop it action. It's like, sadly, it's kind of funny. Okay, now let's go over here, and let's get back in control. We'll pick up our little drone here, and we'll bring it down to this side. Um, yeah, get that one. Pick that one up. And then take it to that one, please. Man, this is a really elaborate system, can I just say? Super elaborate. Doesn't need to be this complicated. How did they get anything done around here? Um, okay, now, so now we just interact with this, and we'll open all three shutters. You got knocked out? We were just about to make progress. Oh. 
Oh, and that's the prologue. That's the end of the preview build. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for letting me uh, check it out. That was really interesting. Um, I'm gonna sit back now. Now that I have to, now that I don't have to pay as, as close attention, I can, I can I can sit back and relax. So yeah, uh, from what I played of Scorn just now, however long that was, 30, 40 minutes uh, or more, um, very puzzle heavy compared to what I was expecting, but it is the prologue of the game. Now, granted, when I played the demo, I believe that was five years ago, I think it was in 2017, um, that was quite a bit different gameplay-wise from this. Um, this is much more puzzle-focused than the demo that I played, which I believe had two types of guns and quite a bit of combat. Now, there were still puzzles, but this has more of a puzzle-heavy focus. I'm not sure if that's due to it being the prologue of the game, where they're just, you know, um, they're just easing you in to to the world and the atmosphere and everything, um, but it did change my expectations a little bit for the final game. I wonder if it's going to be more of a slow-paced puzzle adventure than what I first thought. But either way, I think, uh, you know, the primary selling point of the game are, are the visuals and the atmosphere, it's all there, you know? Like, you can just see it here on the menu. This, is, this menu is incredible. Just the the sinewy texture, the HR Giger, and 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 on all the other influences, like, it's, it's really breathtaking visually. So, um, I'll be interested to see how long the final game is. I believe it releases next month. If you're interested in this game, uh, I will be playing it on the channel. Uh, probably be streaming it first, actually. So I'll probably stream it on launch day and then upload it to YouTube, you know, ASAP, just to temper everyone's expectations. So, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and, uh, you know, you won't miss it when it comes out. But yeah, it, it seems very, very intriguing. Definitely, but I mean, been looking forward to this game for five, six years now. So very, very excited and, um, can't wait to get into the full game. So thanks once again for uh, uh, allowing me to play the preview build. Uh, thank you so much, Kepler Interactive, for for supplying me with a key and the resources to to check it out. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see it when it fully releases. So let me know what your thoughts were in the comments, and uh, I'll be leaving a link to the game in the description. Also, if you're interested, um, thanks for watching. Think critically. Oh.